Mayen. My mic working? Yeah, it is. All right. So, was supposed to play Pokemon uh, Brilliant Diamond, but I'm really annoyed with the stick drift. <laughs> I was trying to do the uh, Venusaur. Uh, terror raid and it just kept fucking me over when I was trying to select certain things so I'm like yeah no I don't feel like dealing with that so we'll probably have to continue brilliant diamond then uh, at a later point which is sad because it's the same reason why I'm not playing Super Mario Bros. Wonder because I still got to play that and finish it but yeah so let's go ahead and uh let's go ahead and start giving some freedom to these bugs grab a controller super earth our home prosperity liberty hi there <laughs> democracy our way of life oh hello but freedom doesn't come free <laughs> no! sweet liberty I love the face he makes whenever, like, before the attack happens. Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. Ah, uh, shit. You could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Nice transition. So yeah, we're at 52 medals. We we need a lot more. We need 75 just for this. And then we need to get down to this. And it's going to cost 70 for that one. You think re, uh, increased reinforcement budget it really isn't bad either. I don't think there's any more. Oh yeah, this one right here. Wait, hold on. So this one's increase. But this one says flexible. Oh, I see. I see. I am in the know now. Interesting. But. I really want. Hey, what is the hints? Oh. Yeah, no, we don't need hints. We need freedom. So let's see. I'm going to try to do some of the matchmaking stuff. Uh, we'll see if we can get stuck with some groups that know what they're doing and not always getting fucking kicked or something. Because I'm all the way up over here on impossible. <laughs> so hopefully I can get into a group that... Uh, oh. No, we got it. We gotta defend.
Yeah, because it's Angel's Adventure and um, ETH that has to be protected so we can get those. And then we got to kill enemies with a strafing gun. Do I even have that? You see, oh, yeah, I did. Okay. I didn't know there was an order put out. I think earlier I was watching somebody play a bit and they said that there was no orders put out. So I didn't know there was any uh, personal orders. Actually, for now, it's a uh, run around doing some of this and getting that out of the way. <laughs> Guy trying to talk, we're already moving. So we need to we need to get the valuable data, then go up here, and then go there. Yeah. We're gonna land there. We're gonna get the strafing. Uh, on this, I don't think there is that many big enemies that I can't deal with. So we'll probably get the machine gun for this difficulty. And the sentry. to him. Bet you he got sent to the, uh, they sent him to the freedom camp. And the fucking little shits. Why am I not running? Damn, I'm over here pushing a fucking run and it won't do it. <laughs> Holy shit.
bitch. Walking up to me like he's gonna do something. Alrighty then. No more samples. Take care of this data thing, Majig. sometimes so funny all right then after this we're gonna go just take out that little shit down there Made that noise. Unleashing democracy. Eagle one Be back shortly. All right, that's like what five. Per one that I did. So that's like 15 of them dead now. So I still need 85 to go. samples that's crazy I know I threw down a uh, thing over here go ahead and grab those real fast so I have a full grenades yeah there it is oh yeah got it Reload this bad boy. Weird how like you hear so much noise coming from these things.
All right, they're taken care of. Let's go ahead and go to that next little hive over here and it gets ass. There's something here. Is there though? Something I can't, yep, something I can't deal with. Thanks game. You only kill one? Come on, you little fucks. Just gather up. Oop. It needs to fall down. Bye. You only killed like one again. But that's my fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck were all of you doing? Time to go destroy the nest. No way. Wonder what's in that machine gun? Yeah. Uh, nothing else. Here, lame. Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. God, you gotta love how they just focus on trying to summon others. You will never destroy our way of life. Super Earth Spinus back in action. Attack underway. Wow, that went like way to the side than I expected.
All right. I guess we should get the objective item now. But first, let's clear out the little dot that's back there. I missed the stamina enhancement. <laughs> Samples. I hate that the game still cheated me out of getting uh, the sample achievement. And that's the only reason why I'm trying to find every sample that I can. It gave me the rare one, but not the common one. When I got both of them at the same time. Lights! Hello! Welcome on in. More super credits. I hope your day has been well. I don't know why I like hear one of them little fuckers like right in my ear, but they're not there. <laughs> Die, will you? Your day was good? Hey, glad to hear it. Yeah, for me, um, I had two of my packages come in. I was expecting three. Uh, for some reason, one of them is still stuck at a different facility and hasn't moved since 2 a.m. in the morning. It's fucking annoying as shit. But I got my copy of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, rebirth. So I already have that. And then I got the uh, HDMI switch. And 
then I wanted to play um, Brilliant Diamond today. But with the drift on the fucking Joy-Cons is fucking annoying the shit out of me. So I didn't. So I ended up not being able to play that today. Oh yeah, I was gonna clear out this nest. And then, um, I was thinking of a new emote. But I need to talk to the artist about it. But she is kind of busy right now, so it might be a while before I get it. So yeah, I got an idea for a new emote. I'm thinking of two of them, but right now it's just one. And I am going to be paying a little more than I usually do for the emote. And if you're wondering why I'm using the strafing right now, it's because there's a order for strafing. Uh, you got to get 100 kills with it. Thing. And we got this one up here. I should, I should probably do a uh, resupply.
Have fun with no legs, buddy. What's wrong? Can't walk? <laughs> oh no, I'm out of ammo almost. Just kidding. Still got one more thing over here. Ah, there it is. How unfortunate for you little shits. That was weird. All right. And then we got this one little area over here, which hopefully only has two holes in it. <laughs> okay, okay. Bye. Cool. Now I just gotta grab the hard drive. Hell yeah. Giving them freedom all over their face. In the form of bullets. Lights. <laughs> you forget. I fucking died and fell and had the samples fall in the water. <laughs> but technically, you killed me and had them fall in the water. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, buddy, you go break dance. Yeah, I don't want to fall in the hole, though. <laughs> That'd be bad. Gotta turn it. All right.
Alrighty then. Uh, I got the Seaf gun. I might as well get that because I need the extra stuff. How many do I got? I got two more. Okay. Tactical asset near your location. Tactical ass. Got him. Over it. There we go. <laughs> you fucking hit the wall. You dumbass. Well, I mean, he was... He was headless. I cleaned them up a bit. They had it coming. How dare they impose on my freedom? Nice, a metal.
No survivors. Another medal. Two medals. Nice. All right, I think it's time for us to head towards extraction. Oh, there's another thing on along the way, so that's good for us. There's something here. Another medal. Hell yeah. Damn, I needed one more... One more sample. Are you kidding me? You may proceed to extraction when ready. I'm already heading there, man. I really want to get that one that makes us makes us go easier across terrain the rough terrain because I think that prevents us from getting slowed down while walking through some of those bushes and stuff like that Thought they had me. Man, I really need one more sample. Are you fucking kidding me? Get out of here. Get. What? Get. Fuck you. Get out of here. Go. Shoot. Beat their ass with my gun. That's a lot of them, and I really want to smack them all. What the fuck? How'd you like to taste the freedom?
liberty. Stop that shit right now. You too. Stop that. Hell yeah. I salute you. Nice to get those objectives done as well. Sweet. Hell yeah, man. I ran out there. I got everything done. Glorious victory. Fourteen fucking samples. Ugh. Needed one more. Just one. Ba -ba -ba -bum. We had reinforcements ready, but you didn't need them. Excellent work. Of course I didn't need them. I had it all under control. Oh, yeah, that's a sniper rifle. I wonder if that one's any better than the other one. The anti-material rifle. My only problem with the with this uh, victory pose is the way the hand shakes after it does the like the dice roll. <laughs> like it has like a fucking violent shaking thing going on. Oh yeah, I might do it on that anyway. Eighty-six out of a hundred. Let us rally to her defense. E. Thankfully, I don't have to use them that much anymore after this. Putting the opposite. Wait, wait, no, don't go over there.
Okay, which buildings is it? That one's still yellow. That one's still yellow. Oh, there are... Okay. This mission sucks by yourself. Like how you just hear a woman's voice, but they're all men coming out. And they got a freaking thing over there too to uh collect. Ugh. Oh shit, they killed some of the guys. Fuck. You're still alive. Get up. <laughs> you saw him. He's faking it. This mission sucks. <laughs> Forever. 
Okay, that's 18 out of 30. Need to get another one of these going. Never mind, because they're all fucking over here. I just need this last group right here. So those guys are done. And then there's this crash site over here. Or not the crash site, but the piece of loot. Let's go ahead and grab that since we got four minutes. There's another one on that side. Fuck. Flamethrower? I don't want that shit. Need that stamina. My stamina. Found 
found something. Super credits. And now there's this thing over here. What's over here? There's something here. I guess it's just a crash side of a vehicle. It doesn't matter. It's time for me to get out of here. Budget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. 
glorious victory. Boom, 100% liberated, baby. It's because everybody wants those 45 medals. <laughs> Fucking pose is so silly. That it does. And now, we can actually buy this now. So now I have the stamina enhancement. I gotta get all of this done. Getting close to finishing this second page on this one. About halfway done with it. But once people started getting the, uh... Wait, what? It doesn't show... We just did Angel's Venture, right? Manage democracy calls for aid. Only you can answer, Helldiver. The hell, it just said 100%. That's bullshit. I wonder. Can we make it happen? Look, I need to unlock Helldive. That's what I want to do. Destroyer has joined squadron. Oh, God, they have Can't even hear them. <laughs> I'm surprised people are doing automatons right now. I did not call down orbital, did I? called it. Damn, that happened fast.
Oh shit. That was actually really fast. <laughs> that was stupid fast, actually. Look at that, 4,000 um, uh, credits. That was a thousand experience. have a vote. Yep. Mission coordinates locked. I mean, I guess if they have Helldive, I can do Helldive. Engaging orbital structure. I, I don't I don't know. <laughs> They're getting a lot of the, uh, a lot of the other stuff. I can't hear him. to hear them I can't hear I can't hear what they're asking like I need to turn them up or something Requesting sentry. 
Oh shit. <laughs> She shut the face off of that thing. <laughs> Heavy north, that guy's about to get thrown around if he doesn't watch out. guy guys are like yeah we need to do hell dive and i'm like uh <laughs> what's the difference in experience it's about 200 200 more experience Damn. <laughs> it's just kidding. It says, fuck. Audi. I think this one. Yep. Yeah. There you go. That's much better. Actually, let me. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Guess I'm waiting for a moment. So basically, uh, use sentries for this. So they want like the mortar. Uh, I guess we get the rocket. Allied destroyer has left squadron. He's 
too drunk for his own good. Uh, are we gonna be able to do it with just three of us? <laughs> Playing with some random people. <laughs> so they're like, yeah, we're tired of this guy. Fucking get his ass out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> yes. Now we're fine, we're fine. I've done it with two. But it's not loading, which is weird. Don't drink and drive. I feel that. It's taking, it's taking way too long. Yeah, it is It is taking way too long. I like how the... The... The hell dive in the middle is not aligned properly. <laughs> so it's not inside of its... uh. It's not inside of its entrance. Uh, I forgot how they call that. Yeah, this is taking way too long. Holy crap. This is taking way too long. <laughs> I say we just uh, restart real quick again. Yeah, it looks like we're going to quit the game. I'll see you there. All right, see you. Well, that sucks. Uh-oh. <laughs> I think my game crashed when I quit. <laughs> my fucking controller is just vibrating to all hell. Like... <laughs> oh, time to... <laughs> time to restart the game. Uh... There we go. Leave me alone, malware bites. Jesus. It's okay, they don't know I'm a streamer. That's how it usually is, right? Nobody knows you're a streamer. Unless you tell them. I have to admit, we got some medals really quick through that. <laughs> we went to 17 medals. Actually, I need to check my stratagems now. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Yo, what up? I know it is. I really need the ship modules. I need to get the uh I need to get the advanced construction so that they have more health. And then this one so that the Deployment time no longer exists, so it's like automatic. And then this one, so that they fucking move faster. That's why I've been trying to chase down the, the samples so much, because I want to get these upgrades.
Ah, uh, yes. I like how they add the T. <laughs> I like how that one is like really questionable. Yeah, I guess we'll unlock the the cape. Oh. Sure. People adding me. I can't believe it. On ship, but they already got four people, so guess we're gonna have to across the galaxy are fighting for every inch of do other stuff. Where will you join them? Ally destroyer has joined squadron. Dude, look at that level 45. Engaging orbital thrusters. Wait for me. Hello? Are, are we waiting for something? Where's the person AFK? <laughs> this is when you got to ask yourself should I stay or should I go? Nee, 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 nee. Like, are they are, are they really just AFK? <laughs> <laughs> Makes me wonder how long has this person actually been waiting here for them? Hell divers to hell pods. Repeat. Hell divers to hell pods. So this guy isn't doing anything. Allied destroyer has joined squadron. Engaging orbital thrusters. Orbit synchronized. Like everyone is waiting on this guy.
<laughs> like we're all literally waiting for the one guy. Hello? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I really need you to. Yeah, if the person's AFK, there's no point of being here. Helldiver, glad to have you on board. Yep, and I'm about to leave. Later. It's my leveling creek. I like how you slowly defrost after you getting out. It's like you slowly warm up and it's gone. <laughs> Manage democracy calls for aid. Only you can answer, Helldiver. Yeah. I like how when you're on your ship, this is the guy you get, and then when you're on the somebody else's ship you see them with like an eye patch and they look a little different we're on right now. Orbit synchronized. It is automaton, so I might want to get rocket sentries. And get that. And then... If you notice a squad of my sympathizing, sympathizing with an enemy, Report them to your democracy officer. About crimes kill. Hello? Oh shit. The fate of all humanity's children are in your hands. Do not let them fall. Going down a support weapon. That is not what I called for. my fucking rail gun now thanks to people not fucking being able to control themselves and not get me killed wait what okay I guess Are you kidding me? I hate the stratagems that fucking scramble. Or they scramble the stratagems. It's so annoying. 
Like you can't do anything because you get fucked. Fuck is my bag? There it is. Like <laughs> fucking. Uh. Where's my fucking rail gun? Why hasn't anyone destroyed this thing? How about a nice cup of liver tea? Did it just fucking... Okay. That's annoying. I've never had a grenade just do that. That's so stupid. See the mine. That's annoying. You are in range of enemy artillery. I need to keep an eye out for those. I did not fucking see the mine. I'm so fucking bad. Let me get out of there before that thing explodes. <laughs> What are they dropping? Come on, man. Why did something fucking behind me have to fucking throw me out there like that? That's so annoying. Oh my god. My fucking health is bugged again. Oh, there it goes. Thank god, man. It's a, like why the fuck does it take you so long to fucking kill something when I don't have a weapon to kill him? Oh god, people are fucking going through the water and stuff. Fuck. I 
I don't even know what we're supposed to be. Oh, this is a fucking vein. Ugh. The worst mission. Oh, God. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a fucking rocket guy behind me, of course. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Difficulty is this? <laughs> like seriously. <laughs> like I couldn't even fucking set up for the most part because the fucking bullshit scramble stuff is so stupid. It's like yeah, you're not allowed to get your stratagems. And then joining the game like right there in front of the enemy base didn't help. <laughs> I got fucked over so bad. Why the fuck do we have a level seven in here? Welcome aboard, Helldiver. The Galactic War. Fucking level seven. Helldiver. The enemy is attempting to seize one of our planets. We must join the defense. Dropping in. This operation would hamstring the enemy's capabilities. Initiating STL jump to the drop near system. I'll give them a hug. They brought it down to a to a seven instead of an eight. <laughs> there that's what I want to know
Oh look, there's a little thing over there. Favorite. I need that weapon. doing anything like come on <laughs> really a grenade launcher dude a grenade launcher is not what we need This person out. The fuck was that? Oh, perfect. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, you couldn't fucking kill the person next to me? What the fuck? Dude, these people suck. I don't know if these people know how to play with a team because they obviously do not play as a team. Now I'm stuck down here without my fucking shit. Great. Oh shit. Okay. Uh. Like, there's nowhere safe to land. All our fucking good stuff that we're supposed to be using to help us fight it's fucking elsewhere right now I can't call nothing down well technically let me uh put that behind a wall or something oh never mind I didn't throw it behind a wall
I was say, can you start fucking shooting? Holy fuck, dude. Why the fuck would you do that? Injury? What injury? That's a lag. I picked that up and it didn't like pick it up until like a moment later. Wait, how long do I need until I can calm my stuff down? A long time. Too long. Tank. What the fuck? Oh shit. Not today. That's way too far for me to try to get. Well, at least somebody else got it. <laughs> It's funny watching them ragdoll. I know he should have been dead already. There we go. Woo. I was getting close. Reloading. Oh, they already got that. Okay. Uh. Finally, give my ship back. <laughs> Should I hear enemies somewhere nearby?
hope that's not aiming at me. <laughs> I fucking saw that bright ass red light and I'm like, uh. <laughs> Did you have to walk in front of me? Why? Fuck. I don't understand some of these people's decisions, man. Please don't step on that. Got that. Here I am trying to support my fellow hell divers Please. Package. 
I guess I like hugs. <laughs> I hate when I'm fucking healing and I get killed during it. <laughs> Way off for a moment. Reporting to the front. Tagging map. North. Standing in an eagle. Oh, shit. Oh shit, <laughs> I can't go that way. I wonder if she disconnected or he, whatever they are. Wait, when they DC, they don't drop the... They don't drop all the samples they had. And she picked up the samples that I had. And together, we had like over... We had like six regular samples and a few rare samples in there too. So she ended up leaving with like all the samples. I need ammo, my my guys. Just an ODST. <laughs> I like that. Oh shit! How do you like the taste of freedom?
Fucking bitch. Fucking rockets. I would have been fine if it wasn't for the fucking rocket. Great. All my shit's all the way over there. The sentry helps. <laughs> it's going after that guy over there. Did I really headshot that thing? Nice. Go ahead and grab that. Dropping a pin. Don't fucking walk on it, buddy. <laughs> He's like, wait, what? What? You pinned something? Let me go check it out. <laughs>
Where the fuck is everybody? We were just here. You would throw me like literally where the enemy is. Oh. <laughs> the fucking body just ragdolled. Oh shit, landmines. Yeah, y'all can fucking shoot him, y'all know. Everyone's acting like they don't know how these things work. <laughs> Just shoot the landmine. <laughs> it's fucking scary when you're walking around and you almost you uh you just fucking step on a landmines all of a sudden look at all those guys down there Shit. It's the Eye of Sauron. No! I don't have a weapon for that. Oh shit. There's a fucking tank and everything. Get out of here. Oh shit! Fucking landmines are the creepers of Hell Divers too. Oh God! Oh, 
Holy shit. Why did it fucking bounce? Fucking piece of shit. Oh. I, okay, I guess. I died to something. Don't even know what. We completed the mission, we just didn't extract. <laughs> what doesn't help is having this fucking level seven. Having the level seven is annoying. Because that means they have no good weapons. Yeah, mission complete. I fucking hate that people will keep the low level people for missions this high up in the levels. Welcome back. Well done. Like really, we shouldn't not we should not be dealing with this. Has left squadron. Yeah, I'm going to have to do the same. I can't fucking do it with the level eight on the team and we're trying to do level seven and eight missions. Like burr, cold. And <laughs> please wait democratically. Oh, they sent me a friend request. Yeah, sure. Why not? Greetings. Mission complete. the galaxy are fighting for every I just don't know why Where will fucking you people me? are doing all the automaton stuff when we should be working on this this is what we need to be working on right now initiating STL jump to the angels venture system the angels venture system Oh. Um. You get a mortar. Wait, what are we doing? That's what I want to know. What the fuck are we doing?
Oh, this is a fucking escort mission. And you guys haven't done a single one? Bleeding out, little buddy. Holy shit. There's so many of these fucking things. Sorry, guy. I didn't mean for you to die. You were in the wrong spot, though. I was out of stims. Yeah, only air and orbital strikes. I didn't know what fucking mission we were doing. I didn't even get to look. If I knew what kind of mission this was, I definitely would not have picked what I got. Hey, lights! <laughs> Oh no, lights, you're joining in on this? Orbital inbound! Calling in reinforcements! The fucking explosive barrel! Um, is it bugged? Oh no, it bugged. It's bugged and it's full of bugs. Oh no, poor lights. Oh, 
Oh god, are you fucking kidding me? me we should really have a like just a, a moment of invincibility there because of stupid shit like that oh no lights <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Choose where to join your fellows in righteous liberation. <laughs> what just happened? We're <laughs> like, we just got transported. The bots have this world in an iron grip. Find an opening and break their hold. A failed operation. We will rise from its ashes. Emergency evacuations are ass missions. They are like the worst. Why the fuck are we doing automatons? Like why? What the fuck? Oh, too much of a bitch to do the fucking bugs. I'm going back to the automatons. Somebody already die? Oh my god, we have a fucking tank and everything here? Holy shit. Elgar, are you are moving out 
That's not the that's not the way I wanna go. God, I am fucking being ragdolled right now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dude, they picked the fucking worst spot for us to land. Like, I wanted to be like, yeah, yeah, let's go to this spot over here. And they fucking automatically Please, pick something else. Dude, we're just fucking dying. Ah, uh, shit. This isn't fair. Fucking. <laughs> There's no safe area around here. They picked literally the worst area to fucking land what kind of dumb idiot would be like oh yeah let's pick this spot <laughs> trying to shoot it in the back and then it automatically just turns around and looks my way that's so stupid my god I stepped away forever just to call anything really help if I actually had my fucking weapons right now. Holy shit. I can't do anything. I have one of those big fuckers after me and there's nothing I can do.
It's like missions with this high mu high difficulty, you should not land in your near the enemy presence areas, because then this happens. <laughs> Go, lights, go! Where the fuck did they throw us at? Next to a tank, that's where they threw us at. This is another guy not doing nothing. I don't know what they're doing. Yeah, yeah, good on you for like running everywhere by yourself. I gotta wait four minutes to calm my stuff down. I got three minutes. <laughs> and they're already shooting at us from all the way over there. Yeah, the jammer. But apparently they don't want to fucking do it. They're over here running around doing dumb shit.
Okay, that wasn't mine, was it? No, it couldn't be. <laughs> Mine's already over. Ow. <laughs> Oh shit. Damn, I have nothing to kill that. All right, I got it. Injury? What injury? Good. <laughs> um. Okay, we gotta go somewhere. Well, they're not helping us out with a jammer. Apparently, nobody gives a shit about uh, uh other objectives. Nice, got him. <laughs> Calling down a support weapon. Requesting tag pack. My God, can I finally actually get this shit? <laughs> Been waiting forever. I don't know what I don't know what T2 is doing. I don't know what Senzu is doing. What the fuck lights? No, why? What the fuck? I didn't even know what killed you, and then it killed me. Fucking stratagem jammers and stuff like that are a little too OP if they make our stuff come in real late and then they make it take it forever for the cooldown. It's like we die too fast for that kind of stuff. And then you can't have any weapons to fucking kill these things because you have to wait forever to call down something. Oh shit, lights, watch out. Ready to 
liberate. To get this stupid citizen stuff done. Wait, is there only two spots to call them from? Yeah, I gotta wait for the green light. Take too fucking long. Get your asses moving. Oh, here they come. No lights. Why the fuck did it move that way? Twenty minutes remaining. Don't worry, lights, I'm right behind you. <laughs> Thank you. 
We need to take this thing out right here. Oh god. I guess the, uh, the, that, I don't know what it's called. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Of the motherfucker with the flamethrower. Today you carved another foot in a long climb to liberty. That was such bullshit.
and these people just kept getting separated and doing whatever the whatever else it was so hard to actually work as a team when they were doing whatever they were doing earlier we kept getting separated they wanted like they were fucking doing this and that they fucking threw us in the worst area <laughs> It was no good. <laughs> Did we all do the same emote? <laughs> That's actually it's always good to have another hero on board. It's actually very surprising that we didn't have any friendly fire kills. <laughs> Dude, look at my accuracy, it was so good. see yeah they were using the uh the gas strike which isn't that bad Wait, is this six out of seven? To see two people in one area, why are you going to try to go into that area? The laser. Actually. that one how does this guy not have a a booster to put on Like they should have at least one booster. I don't know how they don't have any.
Are you fucking kidding me? Only I knew where it was being shot from. Yeah, thanks for telling me like six times, dude. Okay, these guys are not fucking playing as a team at all. This other fucker ran off to God knows where. I'm fucking leaving the game after this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking play with idiots that just leave the entire team behind. Like, both of them are fucking gone. They should learn how to fucking actually look around and see where we're landing Instead of just oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking automatically pick here Why did you call it an orbital? Thanks, idiot. Oh, my God, man, come on. Democracy has landed. People just doing whatever the fuck they want without thinking. There was no reason to have an orbital there, and somehow it fucking hit me. Where are these people anyway? Or bad people, but enemies. Nothing. Any samples? No.
Man, this guy didn't do anything. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm on it. Yeah, good job at uh, completing the objective. Didn't even fucking finish the damn thing. Oh shit. That almost hit us. Right when I was about to heal. <laughs> oh, we're not doing the radar station? They're just fucking running? Holy shit. How do we... How are people not playing this to where, like, you're actually doing objectives and stuff? It's just... Oh, just finish the mission. Yeah, I'm definitely leaving this group afterwards. Just play the game all boring and shit. Don't even try to do anything fun. I guess I gotta run over there and help them because. got three minute cooldown on that shit. Like, just fucking doing something and then running away and then leaving all the enemies in behind you like that is just not a fun way to play this game. It's so fucking boring. Destroy our way of life! Ah. Sure. 
Nice. Guess this laser cannon is not that great. This weapon is way too weak to be so far up in the weapon tree. I would have been better off with one of my other picks. Kidding me? You get fucking shot by a damn rocket again. And then I get fucking hit by a rocket again. Holy shit, dude.
Oh no, I'm bugged. I can't switch weapons. No. Why can I not fucking switch weapons? Yeah. They're fucking shitty players. I can't play with with these kinds of people. They're they fucking suck. And I accidentally quit the game. <laughs> nice. I meant to just leave the game, not quit the entire game. <laughs> They were just fucking stupid. I, I don't need to play with those kinds with the kind of group. Let's see. I don't want I don't want to deal with with these two and get those two out of here all right well for now uh, I will be right back uh, I'm gonna check on if there's something to eat and whatever because I have not ate and it's already been almost well, it's been over three and a half hours now so I will be right back uh, make sure you get up stretch your legs all that good stuff and uh, yeah why if I can make that noise when I'm fucking ah uh, anyway uh, put some music on I guess Geese, geese. Kind of music, I don't know. How about this one? Because it says man eating spores.
I was not expecting to hear Dig Dug when I got back. <laughs> want to be able to eat <laughs> so I don't know if there's like something on YouTube or something we can watch maybe See YouTube. Like, what is something that's interesting to watch? That's like 30 minutes long, maybe. So that I have time to eat. Any ideas? Lights? anything that doesn't help me <laughs> uh, let's see something interesting to watch that doesn't suck Let me see. It's hard to find a good video that's about 30 minutes long. Like, even if it's a little longer than that, I wouldn't mind. But I need something that's interesting. Oh, hold on. I think I forgot to put the lid on the uh, on the food. Hold on. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Apparently, I did put it back. <laughs> I just didn't remember. It's so hard for me to find videos that are like interesting to watch on stream because I feel like the things I watch off stream would be like boring to everybody else. <laughs> You know, I wonder, I, I haven't seen this video, so I wonder. So it's actually been a long time since I've played the Spire Reignited trilogy, but recently I've been itching to play it again, as I was inspired to try out one of those Steam refund challenges I've seen other YouTubers do. Whenever the PC version for Spyro came out, <laughs> I actually held world records for a bit in the Spyro 2 any% percent and 40 orb categories, but in the current day, it's safe to say I'm pretty washed up. That, and while I have obviously played Spyro 1 and 3 quite a bit, I've never actually speedrun these games before, but I mean, I'm a pretty confident speedrunner, so what's the worst that could happen? <sighs> didn't mean to do that, but it's okay. <gasps> I didn't know that would happen. 90, wait, 99? You broke the game. What? <laughs> so I have 100. Wait. Oh no. Oh no. So while it's no secret that I'm not the biggest fan of these remakes, or remakes in general, I still think the Reignited Trilogy is pretty fun, and like I've shown in other videos, it is just as if not more broken than the originals, so I think you guys will have a lot of fun seeing what I came up with for this route. Remember when I played this so to game? Start things off, I first bought the game <laughs> on a new Steam account, and I completely missed the game sale that was going on, so instead of it costing me $14 if I mess up the speedrun, I would be out $40 and a bit of my dignity, so I'm hoping for no major mistake. And luckily, you guys don't need to make the same mistake I made either, because today's video sponsor, Wanted Dead, is on sale on Steam right now. From the developers that brought us Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive, Wanted Dead doubles as both a hack and slash and third person shooter where we play as ex convict turned cop, Hannah Stone. Um, Elements you wouldn't expect. Patch for the PC. That's not why we're game. here. Time to get this game, as a traditional speedrun for this there game would use a loader <laughs> mover. It's worth mentioning I barely practiced leading up to performing this run, which sounds a bit strange. But I felt like by not practicing and letting muscle memory take over would allow me to relax more and play safer. So we'll have to see how that plays out for me. I get eat my Chinese. getting past the title screen, I'll start off this challenge in Spire 2. The first thing I noticed upon loading up the game was that the menus were looking a little too crisp for me, so I knew I would have to open the graphics options and change a few things up. I'm sure there was probably more I was supposed to change, but all that came to mind was setting the FPS to 30 and toggling motion blur to off. The reason I turned the FPS to 30 is because lowering our FPS makes Spyro hover a little higher than usual. Oh really? This is almost not noticeable at all, but will be necessary for the first money bag skip of the speedrun. To do this, I'll need to perform a perfect hover, which is done by perfectly timing a jump, glide, and hover to gain height and land on different objects. Unfortunately, just like real life, I am not good at working pulls, and I was struggling to perform this perfect hover, which <laughs> isn't uncommon for me. In a normal speedrun, I would just reset at this point, but obviously I couldn't hear and would have to suffer. But eventually I did get the pull jump, skipped money bags, and ran to the end of the level. Not a great start to the run, but in the grand scheme of things, it wasn't that bad, and I could easily make up for it later. It's just unfortunate I couldn't turn on higher jumps and skip the pull jump altogether. What do you mean by that? I mean, you guys know how Spyro 2 speedrunners normally mod the game so they can jump higher, right? Like, just look at the world record. They jump across the Glimmer Bridge without even doing the pull jump. So what exactly is going on here? At some point, Spyro speedrunners began noticing that sometimes they were able to clear certain gaps or jumps that normally weren't feasible at all. For example, this jump from the Wall of Autumn Plains to Fractured Hills, which you can see the world record holder Dr. House do to bypass Bob Holy Klein. shit. So as it turns out, if the game is open for 90 minutes or longer, it's not that Spyro gets higher jumps, but apparently the rate at which he descends when gliding is less than usual, making these faraway jumps much more feasible. Bro, easy money, oh, mm. 
What do you mean that's hard? Come on. Pick my second try. <laughs> we have no idea why the game works like this. And to avoid forcing runners to keep their game open for 90 minutes before starting runs, the community has decided to allow a console injector to use a slow-mo code, which does the opposite of what you would think it does, and it speeds up the game into getting to that state much quicker. What the fuck? I considered using this for my challenge run, but not only did it kind of feel like cheating, but also there's a cutoff with how much you can speed the game up by, and it would take me about 2-3 to three minutes just to set up, nullifying most, if not all the time save it would grant, while also forcing me to do difficult strats like Magma Cone Climbless, which has no backups for if you mess up, so I'll just be sticking with paying money back for 500 gems or climb. Anyways, back to my run after heading out of Glimmer, we'll arrive at Summer Forest, and I'll need to make sure to not mash through the cutscene here super hard, as it's possible to not softlock the game, but make it so the screen is completely black, so for most intro cutscenes, I'll try to contain myself. Gem pickups are pretty obvious throughout this run, and I'm not going to point out too much, other than I have a general route that I go by. But things can go off the rails quite a bit where I either get more or less gems than I'm supposed to, and have to resort to backups. Luckily I know where every gem is located in this game, so I'm not too stressed over gems. In Idle Springs the main objective is to defeat the workers blocking stressed. each doorway as soon as possible so that the workers can open the doors to Spyro. I was stressed when I was doing While this While waiting game. for them to open <laughs> doors, I'll pick up any nearby gems and kill the nearby fodder to increase the butterfly counter. Because I had no idea Every where all the gems were. Every 10 fodder kills will grant a blue butterfly that gives an extra life and completely replenishes sparks, which I'll be taking advantage of later. The next level is Colossus. Normally in this level you're meant to kill enemies to unlock power-ups like the spring to jump to different surfaces, but by doing a few perfect covers around these objects we can make our way up to this area and then charge up onto this wall and head straight to the end of the level. After collecting the talisman here, instead of exiting the level, I'm going to open up the guidebook and warp back to Summer Forest manually. Oh. This places Why? me at the start of the hub area by Glimmer, which I'll then enter. Oh. But just as I touch the portal, I'll hit a frame perfect pause. I'll know I hit the correct frame if the pause screen says Glimmer rather than Summer Forest. But because the game thinks we're in an actual level, we have the option to exit, and by selecting that option, we'll exit the level instantly after entering it. I'm not exactly sure what this does to the game, but what occurs when we do this instead of exiting out the Glimmer portal like you'd expect, a wrong warp occurs and we exit out of Ocean Speedway instead. This places us on the other side of Summer Forest and skips by and swim, saving 500 gems throughout the speedrun. I was really worried about this trick losing me a lot of time because not only is it frame perfect, but there's a random chance that the trick just doesn't work and you do end up exiting out of Glimmer. I think this is partially hardware related, and the speed at which you exit level does matter a bit, but I have had this trick fail three times in a row, even after getting the pause, and you can see during my attempt it appears like I exited out of Glimmer, but luckily the camera was just trolling me, and I did in fact exit out of Ocean Speedway. While you watch me clear through Hurricos with my perfect hover shenanigans, it's worth mentioning that the wrong warp I performed can be done with any portal in the game, but because most levels have an intro cutscene, this messes with the transition and the game to softlock. However, Glimmer doesn't have an intro cutscene, as it's the first level we load into after the beginning cinematics play out, meaning it's the only portal in Summer Forest we can actually use for this glitch. Anyways, after glitching my way out of bounds through her coast, we're now onto Sunny Beach. Sunny Beach presents a unique hurdle since the beginning portion of the level is enclosed by walls, and you can only proceed by diving in water, and if you haven't forgotten, Spyro never learned how to swim. I'm actually the one that discovered both the Ocean Speedway wrong warp, and when trying to figure out this level, I eventually found that the nearby turtle could be used to clip through the wall. I struggled a bit with this at first, but eventually clipped through the wall on my second try. Next I'll glide to the end of the level from out of bounds, but instead of walking the turtle in this area up to the pad to open the door, I'll fly into this body of water, and despite not knowing how to swim, if we hold X, Spyro is able to move in the water, albeit very slowly. From here I'll proceed through the bodies of water until I get myself behind the wall where we end the level, and just fly through it to complete it. Now we're onto the final level of Summer Forest, Aquaria Towers. We will have to pay 400 gems to unlock it, but it doesn't seem like there's any real way to avoid this since the walls are so high up. Also you may be wondering how it's possible to even complete this level without swim, as this is a water level, but just like before after pressing the first button, we can hold X to bring Spyro up to the surface and then head over to this tower. For some reason, right on top of this gate, there's an invisible surface that's possible to be stood on, which is really hard to find. But once I find it, I can use it to jump to the final platform where the end of the level is. What's interesting here is if you were to talk to the seahorse in the original Spire 2 without restoring the water, you would softlock the level. 
but in Reignited, we're luckily able to finish it without doing so. I just think it's so funny how this game conveniently has a wrong warp, turtle wall clip, invisible platform, and no checks for level completion, because if literally any of these things weren't present, Swimless just wouldn't be possible. But with a string of happy accidents from the devs and thorough testing from this community, it's pretty cool what we were able to come up with. And with Aquaria Towers completed, we've collected every talisman in Summer Forest and can now head into the first boss crush. This boss is pretty straightforward, we'll just want to take damage on purpose to get him off these pads quicker to be able to deal damage to him. The sheep spawns in this level are a little inconsistent, and sometimes you can get as little as 2 or 3 sheep, but then other times you can get 5. There are ways to manipulate this, although it's a bit inconsistent and not worth losing time over. So the reason I killed so many fodder before this fight is so even if I get the lowest number of sheep, I'll get a blue butterfly to be able to tank through enough hits to damage boost every hit. It is possible to get a double hit on Crush like you can see Dr. House do in the world record, not once but twice by having good positioning and flaming Crush frame perfectly. For some reason this doesn't take health off his tracker, but in his run you can see he ends the fight with two health points still showing. This is extremely difficult to pull off, and I've only ever hit this once, so it was unlikely to happen during this run, but it's still pretty cool that it's possible. Following this, we're now in the second hub world, Autumn Plains, and I'll start out by heading into the nearby portal to Crystal Glacier. After unfreezing the first group of ice builders, we'll get sent over to the other side of this chasm, and need to start taking out as many enemies as possible. We don't need to free the ice builders in this section, however, since we can make it up to the next platform with a full jump, which I didn't struggle with at all since I was properly warmed up now. The next trick I'm about to do is really difficult. What I do is position Spyro so that he can take out both of these enemies in one flame, run over to Zoe, and then die as quickly as possible. If timed correctly, the game will still collect the souls from the dead enemies, and the enemies will still respawn after their death. I only get this trick about 50% of the time, so it caught me a bit off guard that I actually performed it correctly. In the event that I do get the dupe, I can then begin clearing out the remaining enemies until the soul counter is at 15, which unlocks the flight power up below. Normally you'd only be able to kill 13 enemies at this point, and wouldn't have access to the flight power up, but with it we can fly to the above platform and skip paying money back 200 gems, which more than makes up for the time we spend on setting this up. It's worth pointing out that flying to this ledge isn't as straightforward as it seems, as each level has a height cap to make sure sequence breaks like this aren't possible. But by holding slightly up on the analog stick to the point Spyro starts descending, to then holding down on the D-pad allows us to break the height cap, assuming the stick position is held the entire time. Moving on, we'll clear out the rest of the enemies, free the ice builders, and finish the level. I did make a mistake at the end of this level, which was by pressing exit level rather than opening the guidebook and warping the autumn plants directly. This is because when leaving a level, there's a flight transition where all your gems get added up, but manually warping to the hub level skips this, leaving nearly 10 seconds on average, minus whatever additional travel time gets added on, only because we're optimizing the real time spent in the game. Interesting. Traditional speedruns would most likely never do something like this. It doesn't make a massive difference in Spyro 2, but in Spyro 1 and 3 it will, and you'll see me do it a lot more then. Anyways, as you can see in the background, I'm not actually heading into another standard level, but Metro Speedway instead, where we get to fly around in a time trial setting to clear all objectives. But to get into Gulf, we need 14 talismans, and this level doesn't give any. So what's the deal here? Well, without getting too in-depth, the first time completing a Speedway level, you're given a limited timer as part of the challenge. But in all subsequent attempts, you're given a 10 minute timer instead for time trial and purposes, and we'll need this 10 minute timer for a later trick. It's worth pointing out that I am not good at Speedway levels. So all expectations of me actually being good at this game should be dropped for the time being, because I nearly fumbled this whole level. And don't jump in the water, don't jump in the water. <gasps> We're not gonna talk about it. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs> but the most important thing to me was just not dying or running out of time, and luckily I did manage to avoid that. Just as you clear the last obstacle here, it's actually possible to pause the game as you get credit for completion, which you can see I do get, and this also gives me the ability to go to the guidebook and warp the autumn plains, so not only did I save a bit of time from that pause, but another additional 10 from the guidebook, making up for my earlier flub. Now we'll head into the skiless badlands. This level is extremely short due to an unintended mechanic that came with the PC release called wall gliding. For some reason on walls with an incline, it's possible to just glide right up them. For this one, I do like to position my camera in such a way to aggro the enemy early to avoid its shot. 
I didn't get great height in my first attempt, but the second one went fine. And since I saved 200 gems in Crystal Glacier earlier, I was able to skip all the gems in this area that would normally serve as backups, and just go straight to the end of the level. It's and crazy. I also did remember to guidebook warp this time. Next up is Breeze Harbor, which has one of the most difficult platforming strats in the whole run. You can see the world record holder Dr. House performing here. While I do think I could pull off this trick with enough practice, I think having anything under 100% accuracy for a trick like this, in this type of setting, immediately makes it not worth because there's Holy no backup shit. for it, and messing it up once nullifies any time gained from performing it. So instead Damn. I'll be using my reliable strats of running through the beginning area of the level, collecting some extra gems which is nice, and then use this window frame to get onto this platform, and then glide onto the track for the trolley. You're not supposed to be able to run Spyro across here, but from this we can actually glide all the way to the flying ship at the end, light both fires, and then end the level. Also, I would just like to point out that the flame you see me do right here did not actually light the logs somehow, and honestly, I think I deserve a refund for this game for that alone. Then I'll do one more guidebook warp until we return back for Zephyr, and head over to Moneybags to buy Climb. It's kind of crazy to think how streamlined the world record is at this point, because we only really need gems for level unlocks, and all abilities can be skipped. So each level is pretty much a skip to the end, and you can also skip most of the gems along the way, charging forward the whole time. And while I was explaining that, you can see me completing the level Scorch in the background. This level is one of the easiest to perform end of level skips in the entire run, other than that we can't actually reach the end until we drop this bridge. The whole area has some of the craziest invisible walls in existence, and the entire process for skipping to the end takes way longer than just dropping the bridge. There is a little wall glide we need to do to get to the button quickly, but other than that, this level is pretty easy. The next up is Fractured Hills. In the past couple years, OG Spyro 2 speedrunners actually did manage to find a way to skip into the mountain here to finish oh. the level without freeing the satyrs. Of course. In Reignited's <laughs> case, the area isn't just surrounded by the mountain, but there's also a massive invisible wall surrounding the whole thing, and it isn't removed until the last satyr is freed. So there's no getting around that, unfortunately. Also, what's funny is I would normally consider the bees in this level the most difficult enemies to deal with in OG Spyro 2, and the bushes are kind of simple to avoid. But in Reignited, the roles are actually swapped, and you can avoid the bees easily, while the bushes are pretty relentless. Anyways, once the final satyr is freed, we can head into the mountain, collect our talisman, and be on our way. Oh, yeah. Normally we need to get some orbs to get through the nearby door to reach Magma Cone, but this can be bypassed, and it's also faster to just fly around. Like I said earlier, Magma Cone is a bit more complicated of a level if you don't have climb. Referring to the world record run once again, what top level speedrunners need to do is kill two enemies, make this precise jump at the start to get onto this ledge, jump onto this ledge from out of bounds, fly towards this rock and land on it, hit a risky perfect hover to get onto this platform, reach the flight power up, and then use it to complete the level. While I'm not going to be doing all of that, I will be using certain elements from the skip and making my own version with climb. What the hell? To start off, <laughs> I'll do a wall glide here, which can be a bit annoying since there's a weird spot on here where Spyro likes to auto hover at. But then once I land on this platform, I can fly around the level from reverse to reach this ladder. Normally we need to pay money back some gems to enter the volcano, but instead I'll fly to the ledge we just saw Dr. House use, and then attempt to land on the same ledge from out of bounds. Unfortunately, I completely miss this ledge, but that's alright because this route has plenty of easy backups. Once I realize I missed it, I charge below collecting a couple of extra gems, and then use the damage boost on the lava to fly around to the final ladder. This is pretty sketchy since I have no idea what kind of cycle these rocks are on, and I kind of got unlucky getting hit by one. But I did get enough height with the damage boost that I managed to stay on the ladder, climb to the top, and finish the level. Next up we'll be heading into level Shady Oasis, paying 400 gems and money back to unlock it. While the portal is active without paying any gems, we unfortunately have no way inside, so there's no skipping money back this time around. In Shady Oasis, we pretty much just have to follow this hippo around the level, and nobody likes that guy anyway. Fruit, allowing the hippo to grow massive, breaking through each door. There's a lot of dead air spent waiting, so this is a good time to pick up a bunch of gems lying around, just as long as I get back to the hippo at his checkpoint, so he's never standing still. But this can be a little annoying since they added about twice as many checkpoints as they did in the original game. But with this talisman and the final 400 gems needed, all yeah, collected, I thought they we'll added back to more. Planes and purchase a portal for Zephyr, I felt like it took forever. Which is why we do Shady Oasis first, because there's nearly 200 gems in that level we can get for zero time. For Zephyr, we'll start at the level with another wall glide, which I messed up at first, but got on my second try. This allows us to skip the beginning section of the level. 
There are a bunch of different speedrun tricks I could do at this point, like charging on this invisible wall and maneuvering through the TNT crates to get inside the final building, but I decided to take the most consistent route possible, which was just a casual route, and I'd just blow up the building like normal. Afterwards, I'll warp back to Autumn Plains. The game checks to see if all 14 talismans are collected, and if they are, we get warped to Alora and Gulp's dungeon opens up. Next, I'm going to set up for the most broken trick in the speedrun called Level Storage. But before I do that, I'm going to head into Gulp's Overlook and then back out so no matter what happens, this level is unlocked and I can easily warp back to it whenever I need to. So remember how the earlier wrong warp worked? By frame perfectly pausing on the Glimmer portal, I was able to exit the level while still being in the hub world, and what that did was exit me out of the speedway level. This works the same way if I do it when entering Gulp, but for some reason the cutscene being present doesn't softlock the game in this case. But the problem with Autumn Plains is that there are two speedway levels, Metro Speedway and Icy Speedway. Metro being the one we completed earlier, and Icy we never even purchased. There isn't a strong consensus on how to force the game to warp you to the correct speedway. Top runners have their route down to a T, that apparently they stick to the route exactly, and enter and exit the exact same levels in the same order each time, they will always get the same speedway. But in my case, even with running the game with the same route every time, I was always getting mixed results. You'll be able to tell right away after exiting by whether you get a purple or orange background, and in my case I got a purple one, meaning I'll be exiting out of Metro Speedway. And I also got the frame perfect pause on my first try, which was really good. But there's still a lot more to the trick. After exiting the Speedway portal, I'll need to walk back into it, all while the gulp cutscene is playing in the background. Which is pretty easy actually. While in Metro, I'll pause the game, quit the race, and then have the option to retry. If I press retry and then spam skip cutscene, this puts the game in a very weird state because the retry button attempted to reload the speedway and skipping the cutscene attempted to load Gulp Slayer essentially at the same time. But since we technically skipped the cutscene second, Gulp Slayer is where we end up. Then if we kill Spyro and do the final damage to him with Gulp's body slam, both of the levels will reload at the same time, and at this point the game will think we're in a speedway level, all while still being in Gulp. What the hell? And by making Gulp do his body slam move, freezes his position, allowing me to supercharge him to death. What? This shouldn't even <laughs> work, since we don't even see his health going down. But I guess it does, and the fight is only a couple seconds long, when it used to be an absolute RNG nightmare. Once we get into Winter Tundra, we're supposed to buy the Headbash ability for a thousand gems to proceed to the castle, where we turn in 40 orbs to face Ripto. But as you could guess by our lack of gems and orbs, we're going to be doing a game remove instead. Even after Gulp, the level storage glitch is still present, which is why we needed that extended 10 minute timer from earlier, otherwise the speedway would cancel and the whole trick would just get messed up. Just like in Crystal Glacier, I'm going to need to hold my stick angles to break the height cap to reach inside Ripto's lair. I guess my stick angle wasn't great because I started losing height almost immediately, but luckily I knew of a backup with a gap in the invisible wall, and by using that I would have just enough air time to sneak into the entrance behind the door and run into the loading zone. The first ripped up phase is kind of a pushover since he's weak to supercharge, so we can just spam this, but we'll want to grab two orbs before finishing them off so we can use them against Robot Gulp. After the first phase ends, we lose our power ups from level storage, which happens anytime the game forcefully repositions Spyro, but it's not really necessary for this phase anyways. If you get lucky with the closely placed blue orb, it is possible to one cycle this phase by precisely timing double hit, which you can see I tried doing here. But I charged a little too early on the final charge, thinking I didn't have enough time unless I charged early, and missed it. Damn. Oh well. <laughs> After collecting another three orbs, I then finish off Gulp, and I'm on to the final phase where the entire stage is turned into lava. It doesn't really matter that we lost our level storage abilities, because for this phase we have infinite super flight and fireball, and just have to follow Ripto around hitting him as much as possible. There is a set cycle to stick to here for a more consistent fight, but I messed it up pretty early on, and it doesn't really matter much anyways. After Ripto gets to two hits left, he'll begin circling around the outside border, and I'll just need to preemptively fire where I think he's going to be at. But once the final shot is fired, the fight concludes, and Spyro 2 is officially over in just under 34 minutes. And I'm pretty sure if you subtract the time spent loading up the game and messing with my FPS settings, this run is actually a little faster real time than my PB, which is pretty funny because I wasn't actually trying to beat it. After skipping through the ending credits, we can quit back to the main menu, and I'll then choose Spyro 1, since I like getting that one out of the way sooner than later, and I'm pretty sure Spyro 3 takes longer before we can quit to the main menu anyways. 
Also, even though we have literally quit out of Spyro 2 and moved on to an entirely different Spyro game, the level storage glitch is still present and can be used to break the other games as well, which is why I honestly think this game might be even more broken than the originals. So for Spyro 1, there aren't really any requirements needed for fighting the final boss. Instead, for Gref- Alright, so I'm done eating. The fuck? That's what the fuck is that noise? Hello? <laughs> that was a weird noise. All right. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> Everything is liberated. And drop near at least. Mm. It's Your fellow Helldivers rage against the enemy's tyranny. Jew it now. What about you? Why don't you join them? He's like this fucking guy. <laughs> I couldn't read what that bottom that bottom one says because it says because it says they will enlist and it says they already have enlisted and then it says cannot but then it has something in small lettering on the bottom Almost all of those bot. Mm. I don't know if I should play something else for a little bit or continue with this. What you think, like? Well, the question is, is what else would I play? <laughs>
Hmm. It's always a good question. I still got all of these to go through. <laughs> I got all these Mega Man games I need to play. So far, I've only played X. And uh, in this one. Yeah, complete Mega Man X. <laughs> That's all I've done so far. Gimp my ride. I fucking missed one of the heart tanks, I think, in that game. And I don't know which one it was. <laughs> I still gotta play two, three, and four in this one. Oh yeah, then I had to fucking replay Mega Man X without getting the buster. Uh the buster part. So I can get Zero's arm part. Forgot about that. <laughs> Take your time. Watch more of Moss Metamorphosis and Mega Man X2 without interfering. That's funny. Wait, blast through the mystery of the staff credits and return to the future? Interesting. There's nine hidden achievements in this? Holy shit. Yeah, I don't know.
Let's see. Let's see. It always seems like people are always going for Benwer for some reason. Let terminates proliferate out of control on this planet. Get down there and eradicate them. Get down there and eradicate them. I don't know if I can't get anybody if I can't join anybody in like three minutes I guess I'll just call it for tonight but I'm at least trying to average my stream hours to about four hours uh, and I mean it's already four hours but I did start like an hour early today Great. <sighs> Delicious and refreshing. Oh yeah, so I did get my, I think I said it earlier in the stream, but I don't think you were here at that time. I got my um, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth TD in already. So I have that sitting like- Where will you take your stand? Right here next to me. And then what else? Uh, right before I started stream, I got the uh, the HDMI switch. Uh, I haven't opened it yet. Actually, got it right here. They think they're all cool and shit with their tape on their boxes. Little do they know I work at Amazon and I have a box cutter. <laughs> huh, doesn't look too bad, the HDMI switch at least. stream I'm going to put this on and then I'm going to test uh, test it on my Nintendo switch and my ps5 make sure it works uh, as intended then uh, I don't have to use PS Remote Play anymore because fuck that app it sucks well no the app doesn't suck it's just having to depend on wireless connectivity for me I think is what's the real issue because both the PS5 and my computer are using wireless connectivity I'm not connected to the uh, modem at all or router which is actually surprising right because my stream actually holds up pretty well <laughs> reminder all personal 
personnel must submit weekly urine sample by 0400. All personnel have to submit a urine sample by 0400? The hour of our next victory rapidly approaches. Let us cleanse the galaxy of alien scum. In the first galactic war, we cast the Illuminate from our galaxy and secured the half-human cyborg safely in the minds of Cyberstan. Our enemies in this war will do no better. Is that true, Lights? I am but a conduit for the Ministry of Truth, which is itself but a conduit for managed democracy. Each ministry is a fundamental uh -huh. pillar upon which managed democracy rests. So there was half human cyborgs? Interesting. Each mission puts this crew at risk, but everyone here would gladly give their lives to preserve democracy. That's very interesting. Oh, lights! Have you done your Venusaur uh, terror raid yet on Pokemon? Because that goes away soon, I think. Managed democracy offers true freedom. Freedom from the burden of choice. We must give no less than the entirety of our being in service to freedom. You haven't? Oh, you better get to that then before uh, before you miss out on it. I don't know who's next. It's either going to be Blastoise or Charizard coming up. Each ministry is a fundamental pillar upon which managed democracy rests. Yeah, don't forget to, uh, Get on that if you want a, a Venusaur with the mightiest mark. I got mine like four days ago. <laughs> I almost forgot about it. Oh yeah, I need to send you my friend code for the Switch as well. I keep forgetting. Oh, and did you see the Pokemon Z A or Legends? The Pokemon Legends Z to A uh stuff? That was pretty interesting. Comes out next year sometime. Yeah, they're making an a, it's going to be the new uh, Pokemon Legends game. It was, it was a really good trailer. I'm looking forward uh, to that one.
Oh, there's an Omega Sector. Yeah, nothing. Lame. Mm. Oh well. I guess maybe to bar tomorrow will be better. Hopefully we don't get stuck with idiots that are like don't know how the game works, I guess. But yeah, I guess that'll be it for tonight. Um Like I said, I'm going to start putting this stuff together. I'm going to basically make sure that this switch works with the Nintendo Switch and the PS5. And then I guess I'm going to sit down here and put Pokemon cards in the binder. <laughs> I'm trying to work on my Paldean Fates binder. I spent like five hours yesterday going through uh, searching for cards. Uh, sleeving them and then putting them in the binder and I only got up I finished well Paladin Fates is different from usual uh, stuff because the the regular cards there's really not that many of them so I got I got the regular cards done uh, the regular card and their reverse hollow so I did all the Pokemon. I'm only missing like four cards uh, for that section, which are like the reverse hollows. I think I think it was like four of them. And then it was the items and trainer cards. And for the items and trainer cards, I think I am only missing two uh reverse hollows one of them was ultra ball the other one was uh i don't remember what the other one was but i'm only missing two of them but then the next se uh, section because it's how they in fates uh it has baby shinies and the baby shinies section alone has 132 cards. I think I only have 30. <laughs> so I'm missing a lot of cards for that. But, uh, have you seen the, uh, the cards lights or the, for the Pokemon cards, at least the recent ones. You haven't seen the cards. Uh, let me see if I can find. Okay, so this is the card list right now. So this is all of them. So these are in here. So like this is this is what the first page of my binder looks like because I have it setting up this way because that's how they have it listed in the book, right? So the book lists them this the same way that you're going to see them listed on here. So the first page of my book is literally Pineco, Reverse Hollow Pineco, and then it's Fortress EX, and Fortress EX doesn't have a, a Reverse Hollow. 
So you have two for this one card. So you have the normal card and the reverse hollow. And then it's fortress. And then it's the regular and reverse. Regular and reverse. And then it's just this one. And it just repeats. But then, like, you get all of this. But I don't know why I'm going so fast because you haven't seen these cards. So you have all of these. And then there's only two water types. <laughs> I laughed when I saw that. And then you have these. And then, you, and then this actually has 22 cards in it for the psychic types. And then go down to these. And you just go and go. And then you got the item cards. And then this is where I stopped. But then next, I have to start working on all of this. Oddish, Gloom, Vioplume, Scyther. Like all of these cards are baby shinies. There is no reverse hollow or nothing. It's just this one card uh, for each one. So then you have all of these and you're just going and going. And it, it just doesn't stop. <laughs> so you're just going and going. <laughs> it just goes and goes <laughs> it just keeps going actually we're almost at the end of them look at these little guys tandem mouse and mouse hold and then you have these which are the uh, special art cards I fucking hate this bitch. I have like seven of this card. I pulled seven of them. I think I got two of this one. I got two of the Palafin. It, it's a nice looking card though. And then you have, I have like four of these. <laughs> Fucking Clive. <laughs> then you got the Judge, the Mona, and then you have the Paldean students for Naranja, and then the Paldean students for Uva. And then, look at this cute card Mu EX. And then Gardevoir, which is another really pretty card. And you have Charizard EX. Then you got the special art for Arvin. The special art for Clive, which is really adorable because it has all the other uh, Team Star characters here. And you got the special art for Iono, special art Nimona, and then the very last card is the special art for Penny. And then let's see, I am missing these two. So I'm missing Penny, Nimona, Arvin, the Charizard EX, Mew EX. So those are the only cards I'm missing for the special art section. One, two, one, two, three, four. I'm missing four cards for that section. And then up here, I can't, I can't fucking say how many of these I'm missing. 
I'm missing so many of them. I I wouldn't even be able to tell you who I'm missing in the sh in the baby shiny area. Like baby shinies, I can't. I I can't even remember what I have and I don't have. And then up here, I am missing Ultra Ball and the the reverse Ultra Ball, not the regular one. Reverse Ultra Ball and Reverse Two Row Research uh, Professor Research. So I'm missing those two in the uh, trainer card section. I have the rest. And then up here, I am missing reverse mouse hold. Uh, reverse rev of room. Uh... What else? Reverse Zatu. And I think that's it. So I'm not really missing much outside of the shinies. The shi the the baby shinies, I'm I'm fucked. But the rest of the set, I'm I'm doing okay on. <laughs> uh. Yeah, it's been one hell of a set. Not too bad though. Could have been worse. What makes an ayaya emote an ayaya emote? <laughs> well, that one's doya ya, right? Yeah, because that one's ayaya, but the other one is doya ya. So what is doya ya? <laughs> like how do you explain that one? You're not sure. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Like, I thought that one was also an IIA emote. And so I actually looked at the name of it, and it says Do Ya Ya, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be it for me tonight. Uh, yeah, tonight, uh, or tomorrow when I get on. Um, we'll play some more. What do you call it? Hell Divers 2. And then right now I'm kind of waiting on. Getting a new controller or something for my for my switch because I'm tired of the stick drift. But uh, I am buying a new controller. 
or by switch. And I'm buying one that has um like you know you know the one that was used for the uh the joystick that they used for the Nintendo sixty four like how durable it was or not durable but how reliable it was there was no drift or anything like that because it used a uh used something they call the the hall effect and that's actually something that I'm getting for my for my switch it's a controller like I don't care about the whole collectible designs and stuff like that what I'm interested is in this This is what made the Nintendo 64 joystick so freaking reliable. And it was called Hall Effect. And that's exactly like what I'm getting. And this thing is on pre-order. Uh, This is the one that I bought, actually. It looks like this one. And I, f I don't know when it comes out. I forgot. But look at this one. This one looks pretty cute. But yeah, they're under pre-order right now. And it's in, it's compatible with Switch, PC, mobile, smart TVs. Uh when is the Oh. So next month. Cuz we're we just hit March. So yeah. Yeah, so it's a uh, yeah, remappable buttons. It has like the I think the sensitive triggers like the PS5. Uh swappable stick tops. Uh I mean good if you have some that wear out and then you can change them out for a different one. But this was the main reason why I bought it. And I'm going to use this for my Switch. I haven't seen what all this other stuff they have. But, yeah, that's what I'm getting to help me figure that out, that issue out. <laughs> so right now I'm kind of waiting for stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to make improvements here and there. So yeah, I'm trying to make everything, you know, better to look at. I guess <laughs> I don't want the, I don't want that bullshit happening again. Like the other night when I was trying to play uh, Final Fantasy VII remake. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, so that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, I'll be on um, Discord if you need to reach out to me, Lights. Uh, I'm just going to be doing other stuff. So, yeah. I hope you all have a good day, night, evening, morning, afternoon. You know, whatever time it is for you. And I will see you next time. Bye bye. Put on some music. Ooh, what song should I put on? <laughs>